Tess Daly and Claudia Winkleman put on a typically glamorous display as they stepped out to host Strictly Come Dancing's first live show of 2021 on Saturday. Flashing a glimpse of her endless legs, Tess wowed in a red side split gown while Claudia looked effortlessly cool in white tailored trousers. The duo were all smiles as they welcomed viewers to the show, which saw all 15 couples take to the dance floor for the very first time. Embrace modern elegance like Claudia Winkleman in self-portrait 291 pound self-portrait lace trimmed embellished pussy bow blouse at net a porter get the look here by now Claudia Winkleman channeled modern elegance to co-host the first live show of Strictly Come Dancing this season. The stylish TV presenter chose to don a neutral look, which comprised a gauzy puspo blouse from Self Portrait, aka Arbiter of Contemporary Elegance. It's all about the details with this design, it comes with ruffled trims, scalloped lace and sparkling embellishment which edges around a panel of sheer tulle. Claudia styled hers harmoniously with muted Alexander McQueen pants for head-to-toe sophistication. You, too, can channel this exact same blouse, click on the link to make it yours. We've also lined up a range of alternative options from the likes of Zara, Mingo, Rice, and Monsoon, which you can shop by clicking through the carousel. Mail Online may earn commission on sales from these product links. Now get one like it for less previous next £590 Alexander McQueen Slim Fit Pants at Netta Porter by now £27. 99 Zara Lace Front Pussy Bow Blouse by now £29. 99 Mango Bib Collar Pussy Bow Blouse by now £148 Rice Dotty Lace Trimmed Blouse by now £60 Monsoon Juliana Ruffled Blouse, now reduced to £30, by now Tess was a vision in red as she stepped out onto the stage in high spirits with a big grin on her face and her hands in her pockets. The host accessorized the bold look with a selection of gold jewelry, including large hoop earrings and chain link bracelets. She accentuated her natural beauty with a subtle palette of eyeshadow and a slick of nude lip gloss. Tess completed her opening night look with a pair of pale pink stilettos and walked confidently across the stage with her blonde tresses cascading around her shoulders. Meanwhile, Claudia put on a chic display for the first live show as she paired her seamless slacks with a matching puff-sleeved blouse with a black tie detail. She wore her glossy brunette dresses in their signature straight blunt style and sported her classic heavy black eyeliner makeup look and deep tan. Earlier that day, Tess took to Instagram to share some behind-the-scenes snaps with her thousands of followers. Alongside a five-hour countdown to the show, Tess wrote, back in the dressing room for the first live of the season. The countdown begins. Tess looked over the moon to be hanging out backstage again as she beamed with her script in hand. The show comes after a representative for the show denied reports that Strictly's unvaccinated pros are so opposed to receiving the COVID jab, they are willing to quit the show. Sources claimed that despite others pleading for them to reconsider, the dancers, who have not been named, are steadfast in their decision not to have the jab. A source told The Sun that BBC bosses did not make it a mandatory requirement for this year's Strictly stars to be vaccinated, despite similar policies being in place on other channels. It's thought that while none of the dancers are being forced to get the jab, their decision has sparked upset behind the scenes. The insider said, the three dancers have made their positions crystal clear, they'd rather quit than have the jab. There is mounting pressure upon them to be vaccinated but they are refusing to budge. 
Obviously no one could have foreseen the upset it has caused. No one can make the dancers have the jab but some people have asked them to reconsider for the sake of the show. At Strictly they treat each other as a big family. They are normally a unified team and when a few of the team aren't singing off the same hymn sheet it causes issues. It's thought that the revelation three of the dancers are unvaccinated has sparked concern among the show's crew, especially those who are required to work in close contact with the couples. A Strictly spokesperson told Mail Online, this is simply untrue. Following reports that one celebrity was furious to learn their professional partner hadn't been jabbed, former Strictly stars have led calls for the unvaccinated dancers to be dropped from the show. Even Prime Minister Boris has waited in as he said on Wednesday, everyone should take their jabs and him saying that not in a bullying way but just because I think it's a great thing to do.